Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, I thought it'd be fun to take a really good look at this Christmas Battle Force for the Adeptus Custodes, and then we can have a good look at all the units included in that box. We've gone through the prices and the points already, so thanks so much if you've been following along watching those videos. But now, I want to do a deep dive on the units included, and then have a look at what we could add to this Battle Force to take it up to 2,000 points and have the makings of a really nice army army for Warhammer 40k because I think out of all of them this is probably the best one for value where points and models are concerned. I think they're going to be great to paint if you haven't painted any models before. So for a new army in 2023 and if you're new to the hobby I don't think you can go wrong with this. I think they're going to be easy to learn, pretty easy to paint and fun to play and you'll certainly be getting some wins in because these are some tough customers. So let's have a look at the box again. We'll go through all the contents, look at all the units in detail and then exactly what we can add to this great Battle Force box set. Before we get started, I'd like to say a huge thank you to today's sponsor, TabletopStar.com. And if you're anything like me, you know that finding people to play war games with can be one of the hardest parts of our hobby. It usually involves joining countless Facebook groups or hanging out in local stores forever. But Tabletop Star will make your life easier for free. With TabletopStar.com, your links down below in the description, you can search for war gamers that play your favourite tabletop games and live nearby. In addition, you can trade armies and miniatures on the Army Trader function free of charge as well. Sign up today to find new friends and earn exclusive badges. Thanks again TabletopStar.com for helping me keep going with these daily videos. But now it's time to focus on the Adeptus Custodes, look at the Battle Force and have a look at the units up close and then see what we can add to this box set to get even more value for our money. I've already done some videos on the best value looking at all the Battle Force box sets. Then I've gone through the price and points for all of them as well if you'd like to check that out. And I've done the same thing for Age of Sigmar. That's all up on the channel. But now we're on to the Adeptus Custodes and let's get started with this Battle Force box set, Watchers of the Gate, which is no longer available online already. This sold out super fast. So if you were lucky enough to get hold of a box, then this video is going to be great for you to see what you can add to it if you want to expand your army. But well done for getting a copy. It looks like this one went really quickly. The first model in there that we're going to look at is Captain General Trajan Valoris. He's a beast of a model and if you bought him separately it's going to be £26 so really cool that they've included this model in there. Really good one to lead your army with. Now one thing you'll notice as we go through this video if you're not familiar with the Adeptus Custodes before is most of these units have got a weapon skill 2 plus, ballistic skill 2 plus and a save of 2 plus. So if this is a new army that you're interested in starting with it's going to be pretty easy to remember those stats and get going so you're not flicking back and forth to the book too much at the beginning and then when you see the abilities as well you'll realize that having the option to re-roll ones when you're hitting on twos is just insane. These guys are so hard to beat. And that's exactly what Trajan Valoris does. He gives you the ability to re-roll hit rolls and wound rolls of one. And you've got to be within six inches of the model though, and it's got to be a core unit. But re-rolling hit rolls and wound rolls of one when you've got these weapon stats is just insane. He's not even that high in the points department when you consider what he can do. It's 200 points, so really good way to get going. This is going to be the leader of the army. And if all that isn't enough, he's even got the adamantine mantle. So each time the model would lose a wound, you roll a d6. And on a 5+, plus, he doesn't lose it. So that's insane. He's even got the moment shackle where if at the end of the fight phase he's in engagement range of any enemy units, he can fight again so he can have another go at them with that crazy watcher's axe which is strength 10, minus 3 AP, damage 3, that's nuts and there's not even any penalties for rolling that strength 10 weapon it's still going to be hitting on twos. So yeah, really good. Having him as your leader is so solid. You're going to have bags of confidence if you haven't played before. Then on top of that, he's got some warlord traits, which are just great. He can heroically intervene within six inches horizontally and five vertically. Each time he does it, he can move up to six inches instead of three inches. And he can re-roll his hit roll as well when he makes an attack. Then there's Master of Martial Strategy. Every time you use a command point for a stratagem, you can roll a d6 on a 5+. plus. You get that command point back. 
And then you've got stances to choose in your command phase, which give even more buffs to this army. So, yeah, I don't know what else to say about this. It's crazy. I almost wish I got it now, um, because having him as the leader, what a brilliant model. What a great data sheet. I think it's fantastic. The next unit from the Battle Force is the Alaris Custodians. These are £32.50. If you bought them, you're going to get three all together. Again, they've got that 2 plus weapon skill, ballistic skill and save plus. Loads of weapons choices that you can choose from, all dishing out some pretty serious damage. So you've got some really nice options there. They've got four wounds and a strength and toughness of five. So it makes them really difficult to get out. Again, that two plus save is just wrong and then there's the slayers of tyrants which helps them get more into those character models should they want to do some assassination so that's really nice so nice unit of three there really tough pop them with your leader almost to protect him and give him some extra up close abilities and strength there i don't think you can go wrong a solid unit the bulk of the Battle Force set is made up with three sets of Custodian Guard Squads. These would be £36 each if you bought them separately. So yeah, it just shows how much value is in this Battle Force set. And you're going to get three units of five. You can have up to ten in a unit and a minimum of three in a unit. So you've got a few options of how many you want to put together. Great weapons, doing some serious damage there. And then again, the weapon skill, ballistic skill and saves of two plus. Strength and toughness is five, this time with three wounds. So really hard to hit, really hard to wound. And with so many of them as well, within the points value that you get in this box set, it's just a solid army. They move up slow, but when they get close to you, they just destroy you. So yeah, really hard to play against. I've got to admit, it's really tempting just to get this army to have two plus pretty much everything because that makes such a difference. But I don't know if that's the right reason to build an army. Uh, that's why I didn't really. I was tempted because it is appealing to be hitting, wounding and saving so easily. But yeah, I, I, it's not really for me. So you might like it though. And again, if you're starting out, having that confidence from the beginning and a nice easy army to learn, I think is really good. Now, if you're thinking they're quite slow as they plod forward, check out the Virtus Praetors. There's going to be three of these in the Battle Force set. They've got a movement of 14 inches, very similar to the Outriders for the Space Marines. And they've got that implacable Vanguard. So when they make an advance roll, you just uh, literally add six inches to the move characteristic instead of rolling. So they can get around really fast. And again, weapon skill, ballistic skill, saves of two, toughness six five wounds strength five and then with the weapons they've got they're just gonna if they get close to you they're gonna be so tough to move off an objective for one and you know to injure them and take those wounds down that's 15 wounds in total for the three models and just with that speed it's gonna be punishing if, if you try and get an objective and hold it they're gonna come in and potentially take it off you on their own but as they're wasting your time all those other units are going to slowly advance and then once they get close you've pretty much had it playing against these you really want to take advantage of their like lack of speed and then use your speed if you've got it in your army to move around and make them come at you but even even so in some of the smaller games for a thousand points the board's not that big so it doesn't take them that long to get within engagement range anyway especially when they advance and make some long charges but if you've got any tips for playing against these please let me know because i just keep getting destroyed by them Okay, so you've got your Battle Force box set. You were lucky enough to get a, a copy of it. Now, what do you add to it to take it up to 2,000 points? And right away, it's got to be the Combat Patrol, the Adeptus Custodes at £90. I think you get some solid units in there. Um, I'd almost be tempted to just get two of the Christmas Battle Force boxes if you could get hold of them. That would have been a nice option. Probably better than this because that would right away put you up to 2,500 points, which is crazy. But if you got this, I think it's a really solid, way to go and a good start and then you'll be getting in there the custodian guard squad that we've already seen but the way they've put it together here is that they're putting a squad of three together taking one of the models and then building that as the shield captain so now you'll get a, another HQ unit and he's got an ability here when a friendly unit, core unit is within six inches, that unit makes an attack roll, it's re-rolling hit rolls of one. So you can split your force up a little bit now, maybe have two or three even advancing and then you're going to get hit rolls of one. You're going to miss out on the re-roll hit and re-roll wound of one, but at least you're getting that re-roll hit roll of one with those twos again. 
I think for 105 points, you do get quite a lot. With all those twos to hit and save, then the strength and toughness is five. Wounds are seven. He's making six attacks up close. His weapons are a nice range of damage there. And so you've got some options about which ones you choose. I think for 105 points, you can't go wrong with this guy. Great one to add as one of your HQ units. Now, another model from that set of five that they've put together in the combat patrol is the Vexilus Praetor. Now, of course, you don't have to build these two. You could just have one other squad of five. But I think it would be good if you get in both of these box sets to do it this way. You're going to get this character here. He's 105 points. Nice spread of weapons again. Strength five, toughness five, wounds six. He doesn't get as many attacks here. But look at all the war gear that he can choose from and the abilities there's an awful lot going on there. So yeah, I think this is a really interesting one. You're going to get lots of buffs to it. And it looks good, doesn't it? So having this in the army would look really cool. Next up, you're going to get the Prosecutor Squad. But you're going to get two of these. They're going to be included in this combat patrol. Now these are really good to use to hang back and keep hold of those objectives. Maybe in your own deployment zone. You can see right away, Strength 3, Toughness 3 and Wounds 1. They're not going to do an awful lot. They're going to be easier to hit. Um, the Weapon Skill, Ballistic Skill 3+, plus, and Saving on a 3+. Plus. And the Bolt Gun, that's not got an awful lot going on either. But they're only 12 points each. So if you put... 10 of these together, 120 points, and they're going to hold on to that objective. Because to get to them, everyone's got to go through these other models that are included. And so it's going to be pretty tough, unless, of course, they deep strike. But for 12 points each, you could get a few of these units together and spread them out in the back line and even stop people doing that. So I think contrasting the high points, high um, strength, toughness and output as far as damage is concerned. Having the contrast between the army and then these is really good. So some cheaper units to hold on to objectives and just annoy the enemy I think is a good way to go. And finally in the combat patrol you're going to get three more of the Virtus Praetor. So if three weren't enough darting around. Now you've got two, one each flank going down causing some serious damage and um, hassling the enemy. Yeah, brilliant. So combining these two sets, brilliant. Or get just get two of the Battle Force sets if you could have got hold of them. Or maybe at your local game store, you still can. And if you're lucky enough to find them online, I've had a look around and they're just not available. I'll put some links down below to Wayland Games where you can still get hold of some of the Christmas Battle Forces. The Imperial Fist, Raven Guard, Adeptus Mechanicus is still available there for just over £103, which is an awesome price. So that's really cool. But the 40k box sets were definitely more popular, it seems, than Age of Sigmar, which are all still available at Wayland Games. Again, you can get these for just over £103, which I think is fantastic. I'd love to know what you think about this Watchers of the Gate Adeptus Custodes Battle Force box set. Do you think it's the best 40k one they released this year? And did you get hold of a copy? Let me know in the comments section below. Also, any tips you've got about playing against them. There we go. That's the Adeptus Custodes. What a great Battle Force box set. Out of all of them, this is certainly my favourite. And I'd be tempted to pick this one up. But for me, I've got enough going on. I've still got loads of armies to finish painting. And um, I just think even though they're great for the points, great for the value of money, easy to paint, and you're going to get some wins in. They don't really suit my game style that much. And yeah, with a, with all the projects I've got going on at the moment, it's a pass for me. But hopefully this video has helped you to decide whether or not this is an army you'd like to add to your collection, or certainly one you can get started in Warhammer 40k with. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, please hit that like button. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And don't forget to hit that notification bell too, to join me here next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible. And if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below.